Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a beautiful 1970 Ford Mustang 351 Cleveland. Killer, killer car, guys. Um, these Mustangs are tough for me to get. Um, any of these mocks, just really hard to find. Uh, gorgeous car. This is a little sweetheart, man. Buddy of mine out of Tennessee is the one who actually found me this car. It, uh, it's out of Florida. It's got 6,000 miles and a complete body up restoration. Factory color combination. Matching numbers 351 Cleveland. Cleveland. Uh, FMX automatic trans. Uh, love the wheels and tires on it. It's got uh, 15 by 7s and 15 by 8s. Um, Pro Magnum 500s on it with BF Goodrich Radio TAs all the way around it. Spoiler package, rear window louvers, uh, dual sport mirrors. It's got the uh, hood mount turn signals, hood pins. Killer, killer car. Runs and drives outstanding. If you're looking for a nice, nice Mustang, guys, this, this is a pretty car. Factory uh, Ivy Yellow, this is called. And then it's got the factory medium deluxe uh, Ivy interior in it. I believe he said all the interior is actually original. So this has probably always been a nice car. Chrome and stainless is nice. Got the front and rear spoilers. Showing a little age on that front bumper there on the corner. Again, it's got the uh, hood mount turn signals, the hood pins. A couple little touch up marks here as you kind of walk around it. Uh, original antenna, it's showing a little bit of age. Dash pad looks good in there. Again, dual sport mirrors. All the factory side glass. Finally, some nice weather, guys. Rear window louvers, that is a very popular option. Sorry, a little dust. Nice and straight down the sides. Again, love how they got the bigger rear wheels and tires in the fronts. Car's got a Marty report here in the trunk. And boys, not a good, good job wiping this thing down here. Yeah, that may not come out. It's a little rub mark there, a little blemish here in the rear. Uh, restoration, he said, was done five years ago. Again, it's got 6,000 miles on it since it's been done. Touch-up mark there. Wheels and tires are supposed to be brand new. Matching numbers, 351 Cleveland, factory two-barrel car. Um, stock intake and exhaust manifolds, chrome air cleaner, chrome valve covers, power steering, power front disc brakes, detailed up real nice underneath the hood here. Nice, nice car.
finally a day I don't have to rush. It's not raining. The sun's out. Doggone it. We have just struggled with the weather. This is a remote mirror on this side. Door handles definitely look new. Door tag. Again, original color combination. Door skins are clean. And again, he said this interior is actually original. Looks like it's got new skid, skid plates on it. Bucket seats, console, factory steering wheel. Oh, shoot. Let's see if I can get Nathan back out here to open the wind blew the trunk shut. Back seats are nice. You've seen it. Six thousand forty-nine miles. Factory wood grain dash. It's got the AM/FM radio. It's coming out here. Open this trunk. Six thousand that wind blew the trunk shut. It's funny, people email and call the guys and they always say, man, why does he do that? Why does he point out flaws? Guys, I've been doing this since 1991, man. My dad started this place in 78. I personally have bought and sold over 7,000 cars. I've never seen a perfect one. Factory Jack of Spare, this is your Marty report. They've all got some kind of blemish. They've all got something somewhere. Million dollar cars down at Detroit Autorama, Detroit Autorama going for the uh, Riddler Award and they can't score a hundred. People got millions of dollars in the restorations. That's why I say you can pick on anything. There's clean underneath. Nine inch Ford rear end, Flowmaster dual exhaust. Uh, it's got the stock 300 gear in it. And you can go back to all my videos, you're going to hear it, I'm going to tell you, hey, they all leak, they're all going to break down, you're going to work on all these cars. I think that's part of the hobby, I think that's part of the love of this, I mean, I'm not happy unless I'm tinkering with something. You know what, I don't know if I showed you the headliner up there, I'm sorry. I got a picture of it. Got thrown off by that trunk closing. Again, dash pads, nice clockworks. Here's your sport lamp switch. I'm trying to remind Nathan to kick those on. I think all I think all the lights and stuff work on it. And glass is good. Alternator gauge works, temp gauge you can see is working, gas fuel gauge works for low on gas. Old pressure gauge does work, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, this does not have flows on it. I apologize. I think it's an accelerator exhaust as well. Explorer motor works. That's your switch. When you go up front, see that sport lamp switch? If you click that on, yeah, that'll that should turn the fog lights on. I think the headlights gotta be on for the Doors open and close nice, wipers work. Oh, well, they're not on. Put the there they are, bingo. Oh shoot, sorry. Sorry, Nathan. 
Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram, our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. You can do this by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Guys. Great way to keep in touch with us. Killer stands. color combination. Nice paint. Car goes down the road great. You're looking for a nice mock. I think you're going to like that car right there. 